Well, hello. Uh, we're here today um, so you guys can gather some information on how to start an auto transport company. Okay? Uh, I'll be very brief and I'll try to get this done in uh, under 10 minutes. So, um, why don't we go ahead and get started? Number one thing you're going to need is a corporation or entity. Corporation or entity would run you approximately about five hundred dollars. Okay, that you would need an attorney. Uh, so if you can get that done. Okay, the number two would be the motor carrier. We need a, you would need a motor carrier number, which is called the MC number. I'm sorry, the MC number, uh, and that would run you approximately uh, around three twenty-five or so. Okay, uh, number three, you would need a bond. You've got to get bonded. Okay, in the state of Florida, the bond is $10,000. Okay, now what most people don't know is that this bond can actually be paid. Uh, different ways, okay? You don't have to cough up the 10000 all at once, all right? Um, but you would need to contact me uh, so we can go over uh, some more information, all right? Now, number four, uh, you're definitely going to need a website, okay? You're going to need a website, and you're going to spend anywhere starting at $1.99, okay, with one of the companies that I've used. Uh, anywhere to fifteen hundred dollars. Okay. You want to keep your operating costs as low as possible. You want to keep your expenses as low as possible because uh, you don't know how long you may need to maintain the business before you can actually get a grip on it and uh, and handle it without a problem. All right. And uh, last but not least, uh, at the very beginning, we can run an office space. Or you can run from home. Um, however, you, do don't, you, don't, you don't want uh, you know, people that you don't know in your house. So if you do decide to uh, have uh, to hire people, independent contractors to do sales for you, then you may have to uh, you know, get office space. And office space, uh, you don't need that much of a, a space. So you can start off with a, a small office of about $500. Uh, it'll go up to like $1,200 on space. Okay, it all depends on the area that you want to work, etc., etc. All right, uh, that goes for the basic starting cost information. This is what this is, okay? That's the basic starting cost info. We're going to go ahead and erase this, and we're going to go into another section. They're all just as important, so make sure you, uh, you know, you learn some of this stuff. And contact me if you need to, okay? All right. Now, you're going to need what is called the operating system cost. The operating system cost includes J Tracker. Number one actually will be the internet. I'm sorry. The internet. That could run you from a, from zero dollars if you already have a provider, etc., to five hundred bucks. Get started. Number two will be J Tracker. This will be one of the main systems or the main system that you will be running on. Okay? You want this system to run fast. So you want to get uh, the best internet possible that you can use. Okay? So, uh, J Tracker runs you uh, $50 uh, for the main user. 
starting cost and plus fifty dollars for every additional user so the administrator will pay fifty bucks every other user will pay just the same fifty bucks all right uh, the good thing about this one um, J tracker and uh, the next system that you would uh, use which will be central dispatch is that they both have a 30 day free trial okay so you get them both you get them both for 30 days free trial all right uh, and central dispatch uh, uh, has actually changed your payment plans recently and uh, right now the best plan they have is $150 a month. Uh, you're, you're allowed 250 cars. You're, you're allowed to load up to uh, 250 cars onto the system. Okay. So, but they both have the 30-day, uh, the 30-day free trial. Okay. All right. Now you're gonna need uh, one of the main things that you're gonna need is a contract provider. Okay, the contract provider would be either DocuSign or Right Signature. Okay, both of these is just as good. Um, uh, DocuSign is a little bit bigger, they charge three bucks. They charge three bucks per document, okay? So basically, every time you send one of your customers a document for them to sign, they charge you three bucks. Alright? Uh, right signature, if I'm not mistaken, they charge. They, they charge uh, Based on a monthly basis, and it's $1.99. Um, so I don't know if their prices are still the same, but they have changed. So I don't even want to put that in there. I don't want to give you information that I'm not certain about. But um, you may want to call them. Uh, just basically Google it, look it up, and, and they'll have uh, they'll give you all that. So we're gonna move on. We're gonna try to make this as quick as possible, you guys. Uh, all right. The other thing that you're going to need that is very uh, important uh, for you to actually operate, it's a virtual terminal, okay? So you're going to need a virtual terminal, a virtual terminal to accept credit cards from your customers. All your customers are going to be paying via phone, so you're definitely going to need uh, the virtual terminal uh, to go ahead and do that. Uh, they charge approximately... This is not an exact number, this is an approximate an idea. Uh, about 2.5% plus like 20 cents per transaction. So um, the average transaction, uh, it's, it's anywhere uh, from 100 it's from a hundred from a hundred to two fifty but I would definitely say that the uh, main number the main number uh, most most transactions are right in between at uh, exactly 150 okay that's an average transaction is for about 150 basically okay now we're gonna go on to the next step When you're, when, when you're done, can I go get this, my sandals, my other ones? Okay, baby. As you guys may see, I'm, I'm, I'm at home with my daughter. She's uh, 
I couldn't go to school, she's sick, so I'm babysitting her. Uh, Alright, the other thing that I was thinking what you guys could use as a beginner uh, would actually be uh, something very important. Uh, you need an accountant, okay? So you need an accountant. The average accountant is about it's 50 bucks. You can search for a local accountant in your area. They're, they're uh, you know, for a small business, just starting business, it's about from 50 to, uh, to 500. Uh, find the cheapest possible and have them take care of your, your accounting needs. Um, don't be afraid, you know, just, just reach out and touch someone and you're definitely fine, okay? Uh, another one of the things that you're going to need is a lead provider. The lead provider is going to cost you anywhere from around 250 to as high as you can go financially. So really there's no limit to a lead provider and how much money you can spend on leads. Okay, But I would say I'll, I'll give you an average of 10000 a month for, for a company to operate in the, you know, cost, uh, constant. Uh. So anyways, basically how this will work is your lead provider is going to sell you packages. Each lead is going to come out to one dollar, okay, or one dollar and fifty cents. Okay, depends on who you go with. Uh, they could go higher, but they usually don't go any lower than a dollar. Uh, I would suggest you use the ones that sell you the lead for a dollar. Okay, the average return rate on your leads is from five percent. To nine percent. Okay. Now, here's how this will run. Let's just say you buy a package of 250 leads. Let's let's make it simple so that you can understand in terms of numbers. Okay. Let's say your package is of one hundred dollars. Okay. Buy a package of one hundred dollars. All right. You buy a package of one hundred dollars, of which you're gonna get a return. Uh, percentage of only five percent. Okay. Now, what is five percent of one hundred? It's five. Am I correct? Okay. So you're gonna get a return rate of the hundred dollars that you spend on leads. Okay. You're gonna return. Your return rate is gonna be five percent. That means you would get back. Out of those hundred dollars, you will get five customers. Okay, remember it's a dollar per customer, so you're gonna get five customers. You're like, hey, I only get five customers out of a hundred bucks. Yeah, but now here's here's the trick to that. Now you got five customers times what you sold uh, the service for to each customer. Okay, so like I said, the average sale is from. It's from 100 to 250. On the average, they're based at, at 150 flat. Okay, so if you sold five, let's just say at the minimum at 100. Okay, you sold the service at 100 dollars for to five customers. You're looking at a return of 500 bucks. Okay, that's for 100 dollars that you spent. You see it now. Uh, it's actually very simple. Once you get the hang of it, uh, you'll understand it better. But uh, you know, you, it, it usually pays off uh, just as long as you run the company right and uh, you know you stay focused um, and don't allow your employees or if you're doing it yourself to um, you know be entertained by the internet and uh, this other, other you know whatever else in your surroundings. You get to working, you get your money's worth. I guarantee you that. All right, now we'll go to the next step. And the next step would be, all right, equipment cost. So, equipment cost. You're gonna need, number one, computers. Number two, Phones. You need a special type of phone. You don't need just any phone. 
there's, there, there are special office phones that you need with more than more than two lines on them. Um, you're gonna need a fax. You're gonna need a printer. You're gonna need tables, chairs, and possibly booth. Tables, chairs, and possibly a booth. Depending where you're working out of and how many people you have there. Number six, you're gonna have miscellaneous, okay? Alright. On the computer based, I would say the best thing to do is get uh, used computers, uh, somewhat modern, and I would spend no more than 100 bucks per computer. Okay, you can spend up to as much as you like. On the phones, this, the, the cheapest phones on this systems is 200 bucks. You can spend, um, you can spend as high as 1200 per phone if you like, but that would be a mistake. On the fax, you're looking at a fax machine. I will spend no more than 50 bucks on the fax machine. On the printer, it will be just the same. This is starting. You don't need to spend no more than about 50 bucks. Um, tables and chairs and etc. Um, per uh, per personnel, I will spend 150. I will put no more than 150 into that. And on miscellaneous, you're looking at about 100 bucks. Okay. Now the difference is, you can spend up to this much, or higher, but I'm, I'm running the basic uh, number ideas so that you can have, that you can see why at the end some people spend uh, way too much money on things that are not needed, okay? Alright, so basically this is the minimum starting cost, that will be your max or your unnecessary uh, expenses, but uh, some people do that, most people do this. I don't know why, but uh, you know, if you're just starting a business, it's not going to make much of a difference to have, you know, a pretty chair or an ugly chair or just a simple chair, you know, um, versus you're not actually going to have a business in six months because you spent the money on the wrong things. So uh, do the right thing and um, save yourself the money so that you can put it in the business as needed. Okay. Now, we're going to move on to the next step, and that would be uh, just a pretty much final touch that we're going to give the uh, information. Alright, so your total, your total minimum, as all the numbers that I put up on the board, your total minimum startup cost. We are looking at an amazing 3500 bucks. Now, your maximum you are looking at $30,000. You see the difference? 3500 versus 30,000. Um, it's a big difference. And all this rest of the rest of the money, all the um, uh, 26, what is it, 26.5, you have, that would mean that you have 26.5 to spend on leads, which is one of the basic necessities of the transport business, okay? And if you spend it right, you will get your money back, you will get your business going, and you will be successful. All right, well, thank you for your time. We're going to go ahead and erase this. If you need me, uh, my phone number is listed here. So go ahead and uh, give me a call. My name is Jorge. Okay? And I'll be more than happy to uh, assist you in whatever you need. Okay? My name is Jorge. Here you go. For some of you that don't understand what I said, it's Jorge. J O R G E. <laughs> Well, you guys have a great day. Uh, thank you for uh, spending time with me. And I hope you learned something uh, from what I just gave you. And we'll keep in touch. Thank you, and you guys have a great day. Bye-bye.